Tired of murky water and spending money on chemical quit fixes that never last? Well, today I'm going to tell you how to get crystal clear aquarium water naturally using real science and not cheap tricks. Okay, let's break down what's really going on with cloudy aquarium water. In the hobby, we call it turbidity, and it's almost always caused by billions of microscopic particles floating in your tank. These can be organic, like tiny bits of uneaten food, fish waste, or even decaying plant matter. Or they can be inorganic, like dust from your substrate. But the most common culprit is massive bacterial blooms, which are billions of single-celled organisms multiplying rapidly, especially in new or unbalanced tanks. These particles are tiny, often just 0.1 to 10 microns across, which is way smaller than the eye can see, and even smaller than the width of a human hair. Because they're so light, they stay suspended and scatter light, making your water look milky or hazy. Now, chemical clarifiers work by a process called fluctuation. They're full of polymers that grab onto these microscopic particles and clump them together into large flocks, which then sink or get trapped in your filter. But here's the catch. You're only masking the symptom. The underlining imbalance, excess nutrients, unstable bacteria populations, or poor mechanical filtration is still there, ready to cause more cloudiness as soon as the chemicals wear off. But nature has a far more elegant solution, one you can mimic in your own aquarium. In wild rivers and streams, water stays clear thanks to a perfect balance between organic compounds and beneficial microbes. When leaves, seed pods, or driftwood fall into the water, they don't just look cool. They release a cocktail of natural chemicals called humic and fulvic acids, part of a group known as humic substances. These are exact same compounds that give blackwater rivers their famous tea-like stain. Humic substances are large complex molecules with both water loving and water repellent regions. This allows them to act like little magnets, grabbing and neutralizing tiny particles and dissolved metals, clumping them together so that they settle out or get trapped in your filter without any harsh chemicals. But that's just the start. These natural compounds also act as a buffer for beneficial bacteria. As they break down, they provide a steady source of dissolved organic carbon, fueling bacterial colonies that form biofilms on every surface from the glass to gravel and plant roots. These biofilms are your tank's invisible filtration army. They trap and digest organic waste, outcompete harmful bacteria, and they keep your water chemistry stable. Over time, this living, breathing ecosystem keeps your water clear, not just for a day or two, but for the long haul. So when you add botanicals like Indian almond leaves, for example, seed pods or driftwood, you're not just decorating it, you're building a natural self-sustaining filtration system, one that works with biology and chemistry, not against them. Right, so another question you're gonna ask how do we set this up at home? Well, step one is to add botanicals like leaves, seed pods, or driftwood. Start slow and let your tank adjust whilst keeping an eye on those pH levels. Remember, water hardness also plays an important part in buffering pH, so the softer the water, the more the pH swings. Number two, make sure your filter is seeded with beneficial bacteria. Using established media from another aquarium, for example, to let your tank cycle naturally. And three, don't overclean it. Let the bacteria and tannins do their thing. Remember, patience is key, so give it a few weeks. All right, whilst we're here, let's bust a few myths. Myth number one is tannins make water dirty. Well, they don't. Tannins might tint your water brown, like this one, but that's not dirt. It's nature's way of keeping things stable and healthy. Myth number two, you need chemicals for crystal clear water. Wrong again. If you build a balanced ecosystem, your water stays clear and your fish are healthier too. And myth number three, clear water means healthy water. Well, it's not always the case. Some of the clearest tanks I've seen are biological deserts. You want balanced water, not just clear water. Here's a few additional quick tips. So if you're worried about tannin stains, use activated carbon. If you want the less tint, so the orange effect. But remember that the color is a sign of your tank working as nature is intending. And also some people ask, can you use this in planted aquariums. In fact, many plants love the humic substances and acids from botanicals. So there you have it, crystal clear water. 
no chemicals, and just the power of botanicals, beneficial bacteria, and a little patience. Remember, nature has been running this system for millions of years, and you can bring it right into your own aquarium. But here's the bigger question. If tannins and natural processes can outperform chemical quick fixes, what other must-have aquarium products are we blindly trusting? Are there any other rules or gadgets that we should be questioning? Let me know in the comments below which aquarium essential you think is due for a myth-busting reality check.